we're going to start with a game. So here's what you need. Miss Kathy sent you something to print out two signs, one that says honor and one that says dishonor. So if you have those, go and grab them now. If you don't have them, stop the video and quickly make a sign that says honor with a smiley face and one that says dishonor with a sad face. And then come back and start the video again for our game. Here's our game. I have some questions for Lori, and you're going to help me decide if Lori's answers are honoring for her parents or dishonor. So Lori, what would you say if I told you that you have watched too much TV today? I want to keep watching. I don't want to turn it off. What do you think, kids? Was that an honoring? or a dishonoring answer. No, Lori, I'm sorry, you can't go to the playground. We need to stay quarantined so that we'll be healthy. Okay, all right, Mom. Honoring or dishonoring? Lori, can you please go clean your room? I just did it! Lori, I'm really sorry we can't go to the movies, but Grandma called and she needs our help, so we'll have to go another time. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, let's help Grandma. This week we're talking about the fifth commandment, which from Exodus chapter 20, verse 12 says, honor your father and mother so that you may live long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. Lori, what does it mean to honor? When you honor something, you give it value. It's important and it's higher, more important than you. Are honoring and obeying the same thing? No, because you can obey your parents just because you don't want to get in trouble. That's not honoring your parents. Or you could obey your parents and do what's right because they know and you are honoring them just because it's the right thing to do. Do we honor our parents because they're always right? <laughs> no, I think any parent knows none of us are perfect. Every child knows none of us are perfect. But we sure try. And I think we can think of Jesus, his parents even. They were not perfect. Jesus was. But he still honored and obeyed them. And one of the last things that Jesus did before he died on the cross was to ask his friend John to care for Mary because he honored her so much. My granddaughter Moira sometimes disobeys, like all of us. But when she apologizes and decides to do what's right and honor her parents, it's amazing how well things go in the house. Everything's right, everybody's happy, and it's a completely different environment, and everybody has a good time. Honoring your parents is a really hard thing. We are imperfect people, and we make mistakes, but when God asks us to do something, he's always willing to help. So on those hard days, if you stop and ask God to help you, you can know that he will, and things will go better than you think. So here's a challenge for you this week. I want you to wake up with a prayer in your heart, asking God to help you honor and obey your parents because it's the right thing to do. So ask each morning and know that it's important to ask for that help because if it wasn't important, it wouldn't be in the Bible, but there it is. Love and respect and honor your parents. It's very important that you learn to do that and if you learn to do that as a child, it will be easier as an adult and life will go well for you. And when you make a mistake, stop and ask for forgiveness. You'll be amazed at how happy your parents are to forgive you and give you a second chance, just like our Father in Heaven is always willing to forgive us and give us a second chance. Have a great week, kids. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.